Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will learn next set of functions under logical functions category and we are going to explore choose and switch functions. So let's get started. First function is choose and has two mandatory arguments. Let's try to break it down. The function name choose carries literal meaning like to choose something and it allows to pick any value or values among the input values. The first argument is index number and it is the position of the value to return among the input values. The input to this argument can be any number, a cell reference or another formula and this argument can take multiple values as input and they must be enclosed in a pair of braces separated by a comma. Next set of arguments value 1, value 2, value 3 and so on are basically the list of values to choose from. The input to these arguments can be numbers, text values, cell references, formulas or even defined names. Let's see a small example of this function. Say we have three different values a, b and c as input to this function and each input will be indexed from 1 to 3. And if we choose index as 2, we will get the output as b which is at the second index position among the input values. Next function is switch and it has three mandatory arguments. Let's try to break it down. The function name switch again carries the literal meaning like to conditionally switch between the values and it compares an expression against the list of values and picks the result according to the first matching value. If no match is found, default value is returned which is an optional argument. The first argument is expression and as the name itself says, it's the expression or the condition to be evaluated to compare against different input values. Value 1 and value 2, 3, 4 and so on are the values to be compared against the expression. Result 1 and result 2, 3, 4 and so on are the values to be returned when the corresponding value arguments matches with the expression. We can also give the input to default argument and it is the value to be returned if no matches are found. Finally, we are done with the basics and let's jump back to Excel to see some examples. So we are back into Excel and this is the sample data we will be using as an example. The data in this table is self-explanatory like employee name, their IDs and gender. Last column has scores for each employees and we will use it during our examples below. At the bottom, we have two different questions. We will answer first question using both choose and switch function and in the second question, we will see how to use choose function over a range of data. So, the first question is to update the remarks column as bad when score is 1, as average when score is 2 and as good when score is 3. Let's first start with choose function. The input to index number argument will be the values below column D. So let's choose D2 cell in this case. The input to value 1 will be bad, value 2 will be average and value 3 will be good. Close the parenthesis and hit enter to get the output as good because D2 cell value is 3 and good is at the third index value. Drag this formula to all the cells and we will get different output for different values in column D. Now let's try to get the same results using switch function. The input to expression will be D2 cell value. The input to value 1 will be 1 and its corresponding result will be bad. The input to value 2 will be 2 and its corresponding result will be average. And finally, the input to value 3 will be 3 and its corresponding result will be good. Close the parenthesis and hit enter to get the same output as good because D2 cell value is 3 and it matches with value 3 and its corresponding result is good. Now drag this formula to all the cells and we will get the different output for different values in column D. Now let's go to second question and the requirement is to generate the table with values from first 5 rows and first 2 columns by swapping the positions of employee id and name columns. So let's start by adding the choose function. Input to index number will be two values in reverse order. Let's open the braces, enter the values as 2, 1 
and then close the braces. Input to value 1 will be first 5 row values in first column and input to value 2 will be first 5 row values in second column. Close the parenthesis and hit enter to get the output of first 5 rows and first 2 columns with column positions interchanged. Just a small tip, we can follow the same process and generate the virtual tables using choose function and give this table as an input to other functions like VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP to overcome their limitations. So that is how we can use choose and switch functions to get different outputs based upon the position of different values or expressions. And that is what I wanted to cover in this video.